Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the end of, well, the middle of October, okay? This is October mid-month, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you know, somebody has to be last, and I do apologize, but I've had a lot going on, and some of you got nasty because you were last. And it's funny because before I started this reading, I was concentrating on you. And I've actually had some emails from Sagittarius even when I was on vacation, okay, with nastiness. Um, about how their life is turned upside down and it's so bad and, you know, that nastiness is hindering your progress. Don't sweat the small stuff. Sweating the small stuff lowers your vibration. Not getting what you want, if you don't get what you want, big deal. Big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay? So, you know, there's no need to defend yourself or to, to spit back so quickly. You know, to, to be so defensive. That's going to hinder your progress. It's going to lower your vibration. Humble. Be humble. So I don't know if I even... I, what I, Any anger came up. The one word for you guys came up was anger. Anger will bring you backwards. Don't sweat the small stuff. There's no need... To always be ready to fight back. Don't fight back. Don't fight. Can you? Are you like, oh my God, don't fight back? Is that what you're saying? Don't fight back. Don't fight back. Try it. See what happens. See what happens. Walk away. Keep your mouth shut. No offense. No offense. I'm just telling you what, whatever comes out. You will find more success with walking away than fighting. It's about being known. <laughs> this card in reverse. No longer needing to prove oneself. Look it up. The five of swords reversed. The no, no more need to prove oneself. I just want to be happy. Happiness is all that matters. So I don't have to prove myself to you. Don't let your ego get hurt by my words or anybody else's. You don't have to prove yourself. Walk away. From conflict. You're causing, this is restrictions. This this wanting to prove yourself constantly is not opening doors for you. It's pushing people away. It's closing doors. It's holding you back. Unhappiness. <laughs> I mean, this is negative. You guys are probably pointing the finger at me right now saying it's you. Oh, really? This is a rude awakening that you don't want to hear, is it? Is it? I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. It's not me. It ain't me. It couldn't possibly be me. Everything will end in upheaval. If you don't think positive, if you don't make changes, and if you keep trying to prove yourself,
you have this constant fear of suffering. It's that negative thinking. Okay? That causes you to defend yourself in every situation. We do have a rude awakening here. We have a rude awakening here. That somebody is refusing to see, refusing to accept that, you know, I know that nobody wants to hear it, including myself. In my, in my Vedic astrology, I am Sagittarius rising. Okay. So anyway, it's hard to accept that the problem is you. Nobody wants to hear that, including myself. You are deceiving yourself. This is self-deceit. By pointing the finger at anybody else. Refusing to wake up. And accept the truth that you are good enough. You are who you are. And you don't need to prove yourself. That's so big here. That is so big. The need to fight back is hindering your progress. And that is the truth. Because you can't master your emotions at this time. You're letting your emotions, your feelings, your, your pains get the best of you. You are. Fearing that everybody is out to get you. Nobody is going to support you. Nobody understands you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Who gives a shit what they think? Who gives a shit what they think? Your ego? Does your ego give a shit what they think? You're not aware. This is lack of awareness. That you have the ability to be happy if you think positive and stop giving a shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys are definitely not mastering your emotions. There's a, they're going through some sort of repression right now. There's a, there's a lack of willpower, a loss of direction. There's lack of discipline. And you're like, oh, you fucking bitch. Don't take it like that. Don't take it like that. Look at this in the positive light instead of the negative light. The positive light is you have the ability to walk away. You have the ability to open your eyes. You have the ability to stop deceiving yourself, take that mask off and not care. You have the ability. Right now, you're in denial. You've totally lost your focus, your concentration. You've lost your creativity. You've lost your mojo. And you've lost your mojo because you've let somebody steal it. With your thoughts, okay? You let them. You let them. Because with the minute you defend yourself, the minute you fight back, you give them your power. They know they got gotcha. you. They got gotcha. you. You fought back. They stole it. Just like that. You couldn't control it. You weren't in control. They took it. They took the control because you reciprocated, right? Look at the reversals. Are they all reversed? Oh my God. They are. And I use this deck all the time. Constantly. And you saw me shuffle it. I always shuffle in front of the camera. And I know there'll be some, one of you or two, that says you did that on purpose. There's your negative thinking again. Thinking that other people are up to no good. Oh, they're up to no good. There's got to be a reason. That what's not? This isn't for me. She did it on purpose.
That's your negative thinking getting in the way. Thinking that everybody has ulterior motives. They're all reversed. It's the absence of awareness. It's the absence of self-love. It's the absence of willpower. It's the absence of discipline. It's the absence of positive thinking. It's the absence of truth. Totally being negative. If you think, your thoughts truly do become things, right? You've all heard that one. If you think that everybody is going to hurt you, if you think that everybody is out to get you, then you're right. You're right. Because that's the vibration you're sending out to the universe. You guys are going through a very emotionally troublesome time right now because you are not thinking clearly about what you are worth. You're not thinking about who you are. In a positive light, only the negative. Every negative thought that you get, replace it with a positive instantly. Instantly, 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 instantly. There's a false contract here. There is. But you have a mask on. You don't you don't want to see it. I don't know what it is. Oh. This is a break. You need to make a break. This is a break as well. You need to break away from something that is very negative. It's really bringing you down. And a, and a lot of it is, is your own. It's your own self. Refusing to see things lightheartedly. Not accepting that you have the power. You have the power to go in a new direction. It just takes discipline. There's way lack of discipline here. It's like... Yeah. Reluctant to see a new approach. Defensive. Always wanting to fight. Son of a bitch. Stop defending yourself, Sagittarius, and just do you. Just do you. If you can't see, you're reluctant to see any new approach and thinking that you don't, it's none of this is you. You need to get creative. You've lost all your creativity. You have. You need to get creative. You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss. You need to not give a shit. You need to believe in yourself. You need to trust. You need to wake up. You need to be humble. You need to walk away. Don't fight. All this fighting and arguing and going back and forth instead of keeping your mouth shut is lowering your vibration and bringing you backwards. And I know that a lot of you are probably don't like me at this point, but I am not going to tell you something that I don't see. And I don't care who likes me. I'm not here to make friends. I'm help, here to help people be successful. And in this state of mind... You will never be successful. The only person that can fix you is you. Stop thinking. It doesn't matter what anybody else says or does or if they're helping. No, you help yourself. You're reluctant to move in any new direction, thinking that everything is fine just the way it is because, you know, you've got all that fight in you, right? All that fight is holding you back from success.
there's so much discontent here. Lack of commitment to change. If you don't want to change, if you want to continue to live in this negative situation, then hey, there will be no victory and success for you. If you refuse to wake up and, and move on to a better place, you have to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. Therefore, I mean, there's no, there's no real love in this situation. It's like there's a, there's a, a, a lot of bickering, arguing, fighting. There is a lot of fighting going on. It's because you won't walk away. And you probably think you're weak if you walk away. Uh-uh, the strongest people walk away. That's the damn fucking truth. Excuse my language. And if you think I'm wrong, keep doing what you're doing and shit will continue to roll downhill until you stop and just walk away. You don't need to defend yourself on every situation. If they don't like you, tough shit. If they don't like you, it's usually because you're doing something right. Keep that in mind. Then you just walk away with your head held up and keep going because you know you're doing something right. Defending yourself gives them your power. So it's like a psychic vampire, okay? The minute you defend yourself, and you're doing it a lot, I see that, you are giving somebody your power. They're taking your energy. I'm here to help you move on from this state of mind. Stop defending yourself. Stop giving away your power. Be humble. Step back. Walk away. And get creative. You've lost your willpower. You've lost your creativity. It's time to find it. It's time to find your strength, your courage, your confidence. It's time to get it back. Relight that flame. Find the strength to overcome this struggle. And realize that nobody is going to help you. Nobody. And don't get upset when they don't. You help you. It's all in your hands. Your hands. Nobody else's. You have to take the lead. Nobody is going to help you succeed. You have to find the strength to do that. This is also handling things with tact. Grace. And if you are defending yourself, you're not. Gracefully walk away from anybody and any situation that is causing you to fight. Because it's affecting your health, it's affecting your, your psyche, it's affecting your vibration, and it's bringing you backwards. And don't get upset when people don't help you because that's the universe saying, no, you're not supposed to get this help because you need to find the strength inside yourself. You need to find the strength to help yourself. There's a reason why people aren't helping you. There's a reason why there's shit storms. Because you have to learn strength to overcome. Which includes tact and grace. Right now, you're, you're, this is like a victim mentality. It's the five of pentacles. You're feeling like you've been left out in the cold. You're all on your own. You are on your own. You are on your own.
it's time to deal with your own insecurities and realize that you have the power, you have the strength to succeed, and it all starts with you. You need to find the strength to walk away from anything that is insecure in your life. And when people don't help you, understand that there is a positive reason for that. They are building your strength. Don't get upset. The graceful, tactful thing to do is to walk away and realize that you have what it takes. So I feel like there is some sort of break up here. There's some sort of break that is happening. Some sort of arguments that are happening. There's a lot of fighting going on. And it's happening over and over and over again because you're engaging. You should not be engaging at this time. You should be walking away, working on yourself. You are hindering your own progress by wanting, by fighting back. By being unaware that this you're causing your own stress. You are causing your own stress by fighting. Um, when you should just be walking away. I, there could be a breakup in a commitment where somebody says, you know what, this is insecure, it's unstable, it's not helping me, it's hindering me, I need to walk away from this because I, I this fighting is, is killing me. It really is. It's bringing you down. It's this, but the thing is, is you guys are fighting back and this fighting back is, is bringing you backwards. I mean, that's the clearest message I get out of this whole reading is your, is your, your defensiveness. Your, your, you feel like you've got to defend because people are criticizing you because they know they can. They, 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 these people, they all know you by now. Okay, they all know you by now. They all know that they can do this to you. So they're like, ooh, I'm going to go steal her power. I'm going to go steal his power because it's so fucking easy. You know what I mean? Come on now. Find your strength. If the person that has to jump back and defend is weak. Weak. Pick your battles. Walk away. Show them that you're in control, which you haven't been. You can't master your emotions. With the Queen of Cups and this one, you haven't been mastering your emotions at all. You haven't. Everybody's in this one too. You guys have been letting people steal your energy constantly. Steal your power? Are you kidding me? Show them how strong you are. Walk the hell away. The more you walk away, the more respect they'll have. The more you walk away, the sooner it will stop. Trust me. Try it. But it's, it's I'm getting the goosebumps. The goosebumps are here. I don't know if you can see them. You guys need to learn to walk. They're big throughout my whole body. Find the strength to walk away from any fight. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And your life will change. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. find it. J-K-L-M-N-O. <laughs> J. Oh, it's W. Lie back, relax, put everything aside, and take time to renew your energy. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. Take deep, full breaths. Put your feet up. Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily. But first you need to stop all activity. Take naps and evaluate your life. There are times when the most empowering thing the traveler can do is to step off the path. Stretch out. And lie on the earth to watch the clouds float by. This act is renewing and regenerating. 
when all the activity of the road dis diminishes and the traveler allows a languid relaxation to emerge, this is the most often the time when the presence of spirit can be felt. This is also the time when significant signs appear. Whatever is the most relaxing to you, stretching out on a hammock, watching clouds, taking a candlelight bath, or walking on the seashore, do it. And the challenges in your life will diminish and often simply drop away. Relax. That's, a, that's, that's the best message for this reading. Relax. No longer prove yourself to these people. Stop. 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 I'm sure that's not the message that you all wanted to hear. But I'm pretty damn sure that it's what a lot of you needed to hear. So be it, I the messenger.